your work. Thank you. Um, my first question is, yeah. why did you choose Fox over some of the heavy duty cable channels? You know what? I felt you have to make a you have to make a judgment about its nature, the project's nature. Right. You know, is it is it an HBO show? Is it a Netflix show? You know, where where would its nature be served best? Right. What is it? Not right. what you want it to be. It's right. Like right. Like, and the, the project as it came in was, it just felt like it had kind of a little bit of that cable flavor and yeah. a little bit of that edges, but it, it could be on the more fringe of, yeah, more mainstream. Nice. And yeah. it, felt, it felt like that and it was it was the right decision because you can tell if you made the right decision right. in casting or where you're making the, where you're making the project by the ease of the partnership. Right. Because they'll say, this is what we want the sweet spot to be. And right. Like, Great, because that is the sweet spot. As opposed to if it wasn't, they'll keep on right. pulling, you, pulling, you, right. pulling you this way. You know, either to speed it up or slow it down or right. whatever it is. That, you Control know. it. You're a very astute businessman. Oh, <laughs> that's a very, it's that's a very like, astute choice. Yeah. Uh, so, so there's not going to be any like nudity or like uh, the graphic, graphic maybe stuff that might have been on cable. Or it wasn't the nature of that or project. Or you yeah. Know, the project was centered on a kind of uh, this giant conceit of it and and what the what the psychological implications of that yeah yeah and, and, and even even on a, on a I want to say biblical, but on a larger scale, what, yeah. are, the, what are the moral implications of the Good. things we're talking about? Nice. So the kind of the normal stuff of like, kind of let's say a, a kind of day-to-day -day sexuality right. would would be inappropriate considering considering the conceit of the show, right. considering the big idea of the show. Right. So it just naturally, even if I wanted to do that, which I did have the like the desire to make like a. You know, like an HBO -y kind of sexy show. That's not what the material wanted. <laughs> right, to right. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Now, this is something I read about you. Both of your parents were physicians. Yes. My father was a doctor. Uh, he passed away in 2005, yeah, actually, but thank you. Uh, but, you know, I've always thought that doctor's kids, uh, yeah. first of all, were really smart. <laughs> we're super duper smart. If we smart. don't mind saying so <laughs> ourselves. <don't> <laughs> we're a little bit prejudiced. <laughs> Very modest. But um, do you think that uh, you have a fascination with, you know, uh, the spiritual and also the macabre, yeah. kind of like dark things sure. stuff. Do you think any of that came from your medical, like, sort of background, like your parents, like, you know, the intensity of what they do? I mean, it's very possible. There are, I mean, you know, we have all the doctors in our family, all the aunt, uncles and aunts, everyone from coroner to obstetrician. My wow. mom was an obstetrician, so from, cool. from birth to death, we got Wow, you do you know, have it all. As, as your body breaks down, we have a different uncle or aunt who <laughs> take care of you until you're dead, and then they'll cut you up and say, <laughs> what life. happened to you? Ah. <laughs> what if somebody wants to be cremated? <laughs> And then it's like, oh, what a bummer. Yeah, so we have a lot of conversations that were very, very clinical right. at home about, you know, right. when I was a kid, I could, I could tell you medical terms. Mm -hmm. Me too, yeah, they're kind of creepy a little bit. Some yeah. of it is a little so invasive as a 12-year-old. With, with the Indian culture, which is a very kind right. of, kind of spiritual. super spiritual culture. Right. So this kind of dichotomy of like a science, science family coming from a from a spiritual place, you know, right. so the same aunts and uncles are still doing the prayers and the ceremonies and all that stuff. Right, right. That's kind of, I guess now that we're speaking about it, it's an unusual influence to have as your normal home environment. Right, right. And uh, I want to make sure I get this one in. Um, there, there seems like uh, American culture, especially you, this sort of super absorbed with this type of material. Mm. The, the, the actual seeing, the dissection of the bodies, the police work, the mm. mysteries, the crimes, the blood, the vampires, everything. Yes. Why do you think it's in such a dark mode? Do you think that there's any way the spirituality is going to get more into like a, you know, sixth sense, but like happy sixth sense? I don't, <laughs> you know I I don't mean? think that Like a more positive I, ghost I, I, I've actually thought a lot about what you're talking about. I think what, we, what you're talking about. It's, it, I, when, when I make something, for example, from uh, a more emotional or softer place. Yeah. Sometimes the audience, especially a certain uh, section of the audience, especially like a Comic Con, audience, finds it invalid. Right. Because their entry point into life and the way they see life is much, much darker. Right. So they're like, don't jump, jump to this. Right. You can't jump to the, to the positive that, that way. You have to, you have to acknowledge. Um, their point of view, the, the character, and the, the, the language of the the story needs right. to have an edge right. to it to say I can I can aspire to get you to somewhere positive. Right, but I can I identify. Uh, yes, where but you I are gotta, now. yeah, but I have to be with them. I have to acknowledge right whatever the the struggle, the cynicism that they're that, in. That, yeah. that they're in. Otherwise, you're being yeah, you're, you're shallow, you're condescending. And, yes, you know? yeah. If someone's oh. struggling from something, you can't just say, yeah. let's get better. Let's joke around. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly. 
you have to talk about a, com a, 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 a darkness that they can yeah, relate to. Relate to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A, a, a worry or a struggle. And exactly. world events are super yeah, dark absolutely. right now. Super they certainly duper have, dark. You know, yeah. A, a validity uh, yeah. in saying that things are. Awesome. Well, thank you Pleasure. so much.